Hello, welcome to LabVIEW Advantage. In this video, we'll learn about how to use the filter events. First of all, let's develop a simple application that uses the producer consumer loop with events design pattern. Uh, in this case, uh, we are using the string as a data type, and whenever we press the MQ element, we'll trigger an event and we'll get the case value in the DQ element in the consumer loop. So we are going to type in the element so that whenever we press the NQ element, the event will be triggered and that the code inside the element case will execute. So let's use numeric indicator and we'll be using random value. So, if we run it, whenever we trigger an event by pressing the MQ element, we'll get different random values. Once the application is complete, we might want to make sure that whenever the user might accidentally close the application. So, to avoid that, we'll use something called filter events. Once the application is up and running, there might be a scenario in which the user might accidentally close the VI while it is running. To avoid that, we are going to add something called filter events. Uh, we are going to configure the panel close filter events. The difference between the filter events and other events which are called notify events is you can see a question mark at the end of the event name. For in this case, we have got panel close question mark. Now what we are going to do is whenever we are, are trying to close the panel, this dialog box will pop up which will ask us whether we want to close the panel or not. So to make it sure, in the specific filter events, we have got a terminal called discard. So whenever the discard will get the true value, that means the event that has been triggered won't execute the code. Once configured, uh, let's test the code. So it's running. Now if we'll press close button or if we'll go to the file and close then we'll be provided with a dialog box OK or cancel. So this is how we can use the filter events to control whether we want to exit or not our VR. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and comment and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for further LabVIEW videos. Thank you.